So yesterday, yesterday, frankly, sucked. Okay. <laughs> I think everybody can agree with that. Obviously, ADA went through a big correction, but so did the broader crypto market. I had some people commenting about that, and they choose to cherry pick the ADA's percentage drop, and they don't look throughout the space and realize what's going on. Everything corrected. We've gone on a massive run. I said yesterday the ADA chart looked a little toppy, and obviously we got a little help from that fake news that came out about that uh, that spot XRP ETF filing by BlackRock. Okay, that made everything go through a big pullback. Now, I had some questions about support levels and where ADA could retrace to from here. And right now, we're sitting on top of one of the biggest ranges of support that ADA has had at 35 and a half to 36 cents. You can see we got rejected here back in July. We consolidated for a long time here over a month back from uh, May through June. We struggled getting over this back in March. You can see this is where ADA has shown a lot of strength. So right now it needs to hold this range of support if we're going to continue our move to the upside. Now I'll say there are some very bullish things that are happening here. We obviously, uh, about a week ago, we had that bullish cross. We had the 20 day cross the 200 day moving average, but now we are about to get a golden cross guys. We're about to have the 50 day cross the 200 day moving average. And this is ultra bullish for ADA. Now, this doesn't mean that we won't go through more pullbacks. It doesn't mean that we can't consolidate more. All these things are definitely possible. Obviously, I am recording this before uh, today's CPI report, so I don't know the impact that that's going to have yet. But if there's some positivity there, if there's some more positivity throughout the market, BTC starts climbing, I would expect us to go on a very nice run to the upside. You know, maybe something kind of like a continuation of this line right here. Wow, if I could move that. I can't move it. There you go. Maybe something like that. Now, again, this is not financial advice. There's no guarantees in the chart. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities here, Okay. The market has the, the possibility to really consolidate to close out the year. We have the possibility to climb to close the year. I still think BTC ends up somewhere close to the 40K range. That's essentially what we're showing in the charts right now. But between 35 to 40K, guys, we're, we're right on pace with where we should be. And that's that's a great sign. Another positive green year for BTC, another year of climbing, be a positive green year for ADA as well. And this is what can help build momentum as we move into 2024. Remember, we have to think more long-term. What's happening in the near term with corrections and stuff doesn't really matter. It only really matters if you're doing one of two things, either buying more or if you're planning on selling, okay? Otherwise, you could probably just walk away from the charts and not even pay attention to it. Keep in mind, there are a lot of positive catalysts that are coming throughout 2024, not just for uh, ADA, but for the broader crypto market. Obviously, the things we talk about a bunch, bull runs, uh, spot Bitcoin ETF, uh, BTC halving, alt season, all these things. But that's not even taking into account catalysts that are occurring within the Cardano ecosystem. New, new fundamental launches as far as functionality goes, more adoption, partnerships, all these things could obviously help create kind of a snowball effect that really gets ADA going to some of these high prices. That's kind of the way I see things playing out throughout 2024. If you guys have paid attention to me throughout this year, my roadmap for this year was basically spot on. I created that speculative roadmap. We almost had everything as far as the timeline goes. The only thing we didn't really get here was the launch of USDA, which could still happen this year, guys. Obviously, we don't really know. We need some more uh, stable coins within the ecosystem that'll help with adoption and, and things of that nature. But that's what's going on right now. That's your kind of walk around the space. Right now, ADA just has to show support in these ranges. If we if we don't hold the 35 and a half cent level, we could go down to 34 cents. We could go down to 32. And the real range of support that, that we really cannot break below is 30 cents. So appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, this is not financial advice, but this is what I'm paying attention to in the market today. But hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.